Hello everyone. Uh, this next game was played in the 1966 uh, Chess Olympiad in Havana, Cuba. And uh, the Soviets sent a, a really strong team uh, to play. Uh, first board was played by Tigran Petrosian, the reigning world champion. Uh, board number two was Boris Pasky. Uh, Mikhail Tal was board number three. And board number four was Leonid Stein. And uh, they even had two reserves. Uh, reserves were uh, Viktor Korchnoy and Lav Polugayevsky. And uh, it's a good thing they sent reserves because uh, Mikhail Tal was uh, forced... Uh, to miss four, uh, the first four rounds as uh, he was in a hospital. Uh, before before round one even started, Mikhail Tal was uh, flirting with someone's wife and he got hit on the head with a bottle and uh, got beaten up. So he was unable to play the first four rounds and uh, this is round number five. So Mikhail Tal is uh, freshly out of the hospital and uh, ready to play some good chess. So uh, Tal is white and his opponent is a, a, a grandmaster from Uruguay, uh, Alfredo Oliveira. And uh, Tal plays e4, uh, a solid opening after four days in a hospital. We have e5, uh, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, the Rui Lopez, a6, uh, bishop to a4, knight to f6, uh, Tal castles, bishop to e7, rook to e1, uh, b5, Bishop to b3, this is all standard theory at the time, d6, uh, c3, uh, bishop to g4, uh, h3, bishop to h5, and now Tal plays d4. And uh, here <coughs> uh, black, black gets a, a bit greedy, he plays uh, bishop captures and f3, uh, he's going for this d4 pawn, uh, but Tal doesn't mind about his d4 pawn, and he plays queen captures and uh, f3. We have e captures and d4, and now Tal plays uh, queen to g3. Now attacking this uh, g7 pawn, and uh, in this position, probably, uh, probably the best move is the castle. Uh, but uh, Oliveira played king to f8. If he decided to castle here, he would. Uh, the game would probably continue with something like bishop to h6, uh, knight to h5, attacking the queen and defending on uh, on uh, g7, and then simply queen to g4. And uh, uh, probably Oliveira didn't want to go into these kinds of uh, complications as, uh, well, uh, the black knight is now attacked, uh, he can't go back to f6 as uh, it would be checkmate on g7, and, uh, well, uh, black cannot capture the bishop on h6 as it's pinned. So, uh, after queen to g3, he decided to go for queen, uh, king to f8. Uh, Tal plays queen to d3, and we have uh, d captures on c3, and knight captures on c3. And okay, uh, black is up a pawn, uh, but uh, his king is on f8, and it will take some time for uh, for black to develop. Uh, we have knight to e5, attacking the queen, queen to e2, uh, c5, uh, bishop to e3, b4, knight to d5, knight captures on d5, and now bishop captures on d5. And this bishop is now a monster. Uh, it, it goes to d5 with a tempo on the rook, and uh, since black doesn't have a light squared bishop, there is no piece that can oppose this bishop. Okay, this knight uh, will be able to kick it from d5, but it will take some time for the knight to, to get there. Uh, rook to a7, uh, getting out of the way, and also it will come in handy to defend this f7 square. Uh, Tal plays rook a to d1, and uh, well, uh, here probably... Uh, a lot of moves uh, are playable, and uh, uh, but Oliveira decided to go to go for the attack. He plays g5. Uh, he plays g5 and is preparing moves like rook to g8, or depending on what Tal plays, even h5, and going for a full attack. Uh, but Tal immediately plays queen to h5, and this stops this threat of uh, h5, and also is uh, eyeing this f f7 pawn very nicely. Uh, after the knight moves, uh, this could this could get ugly. Uh, so Oliveira plays bishop to f6, and this is a good move. It prepares uh, it prepares the bishop to go to g7 if needed uh, to defend from some kind of checks, and also uh, makes room for this uh, rook to defend f7. Uh, so Tal plays f4, we have g captures on f4, and now bishop captures on f4. And now this bishop is ready to remove one defender from the f of the f7 square. Uh, Oliveira plays uh, rook to g8, and Tal plays rook to f1. And uh, this is a, a very nice move. Uh, we have rook to g6 by uh, by Oliveira, and this is actually <coughs> this is actually a blunder that uh, well it doesn't lose the game immediately, but uh, Oliveira decides not to play this game anymore, as uh, he's planning to to go king to e7 and then play uh, queen to g8 and go for some sort of an attack here. 
uh, but Tal simply plays queen captures on h7 and in this position Oliveira resigned the game. Uh, because the idea of uh, king going to e7 is no longer possible. If king would go to e7 then simply bishop captures the knight and well, uh, the, this wins a piece as f7 pawn cannot be defended. And uh, if uh, black would play something like, uh, for example, rook to d7 uh, to defend against any threats of this, uh, well, rook opening up uh, the file, uh, then simply again bishop captures on e5, and now the bishop cannot capture because then queen captures on g6 would be over. So uh, he'd have to play something like d captures on e5, and here Tal has a, a, a fancy move to finish the game bishop to e6. And this is completely winning. The rook cannot capture the rook on d1 as queen captures on f7 is checkmate. And the black doesn't really have a move. He just has to make any move and then white will simply grab this rook and it's game over. So yeah, uh, but uh, none, of this, none, none of this happened after queen captures on h7. Alfredo Oliveira resigned. And uh, yeah, uh, Tal, Tal did miss uh, four games in a row. Uh, the, four, the first uh, four rounds, uh, but... Uh, then he won all of the games uh, he played after that uh, and drew two games, yeah. He played the entire Olympiad without a loss and, uh, well, it's no wonder, I mean, uh, Tal playing board three, the Soviets really sent in uh, a team for overkilling. Uh, so yeah, uh, but, uh, you know, like I said, Tal doesn't just uh, go to play a tournament and, uh, you know, go home. He, there always has to be some kind of a story about Tal. And yeah, getting his uh, head smashed with a bottle and uh, getting hospitalized for four days, that's, uh, that's definitely quite a story. And uh, yeah, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. And uh, yeah, before I forget, I started watching this uh, series. I, I, it's not that new, actually. It's called The Black Mirror. So if you do get a chance, I would recommend it to everyone. And... Uh, I, I would be interested to know what you think and uh, that's it <clears throat> thank you for for watching everyone and uh, uh, also before I forget uh, thank you Fred Fred Ackerman uh, for your contribution to my channel I really appreciate it and yeah, see you soon guys